Hi, I'm Alexandra from Northwest, and this is our group piece, Silk Out. <laughs> Period. <laughs> My name's Timmy, and I'm also from Northwest. <laughs> My name is Mindra, and I'm also from Northwest. Period. Period. <laughs> The first time I realized I wanted to die, I could count my age on one hand. I couldn't comprehend or grasp the logic behind our relation to one another, the grief and the suffer so unnecessary, like a dream haunting an unconscious body whose contents I search for but can't find. Uh, speaking of search, I got a question for you and for you only. When I talk, why do you listen? You're the only person that I know that listens to me and doesn't make fun of me for messing up my words or sentences. I know that I can be a lot, and I'm not really an easy person to talk to, but I gotta say thank you for being there and listening when I thought no one else would. I know that you're me, and I'm talking to myself, but thank you. You're probably, you're probably asking why I'm thanking myself. I'm thanking myself because, Mom, Thinking, <laughs> I don't have a good relationship with my mom. That's why I wrote this letter. There, mom, I wish you could see how much I want to spend time with you, but instead you enjoy your time with your friends. I'm not important to you. Am I invisible to you? Just a figment of your imagination? Am I not here to be, ch I'm not here to be childish or selfish, and I'm not trying to compare myself to your friends, but like you, like you don't care. My father has been there every time I was emotionally abused by you. Mom, I wish you can get a glimpse of how I feel in the inside. When you call me lazy, so slow, or female dog, it's sad. And I feel like you don't love me. I still want you, I still, I still want you to do like you don't love me. I still want you to do m m mother and daughter stuff with me, but you are running out of time. I'm a mother with my first grand, with your first grandson, and you still treat me like you wasn't a, like you wasn't a new mother or your daughter. Or <laughs> I guess you see me as a roommate and not a daughter. Uh, this is why I'm talking, t talking, this is why I talk to myself. It's because I feel like sometimes I get, I got no one else to talk to. But you know, I'm getting older by the minute and I got friends and all, but I just think that if I talk to them about my problems, it would feel like I'm bothering them. And I can't talk to my mom about it because I already know what she's going to say. Uh, don't don't you get this and that if we didn't love you you wouldn't get the things that you wanted and that's true but you still don't listen to what i have to say and i don't know my dad but it is what it is that's why i write stories to myself or i keep quiet or do something to entertain myself like edit or play video games An escape won't change it, won't phase or distract from the remains of human connection. This would only prolong the inevitable, so I ask now, in relation to all of reality, what exactly are we running from? Why is, what is so terrifying that we must waste our lives running through an, an abyss with an unlit candle in our right hand and a match in our left? What are we so afraid of? I know you're not well, and that's okay, but I hope you can help yourself. One day before I move out and start my own family. <laughs> oh, that's all, that's all. <laughs>